Thomas the tank engine is very proud of his branch line. He thinks it is the most important part of the whole railway. His two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, agree with him. Annie can only take passengers, but Clarabelle can take passengers, baggage, and the conductor. They are both old and need new paint, but Thomas loves them very much. As they run backwards and forwards along the line, they sing songs to each other. When Thomas starts from a station, he sings, Oh, come along, we're rather late. Oh, come along, we're rather late. And the coaches sing, We're coming along, we're coming along. They don't mind what Thomas says to them because they know he is trying to please Sir Topham Hatt. And they know, too, that if Thomas is cross, he's not cross with them. One day, they had to wait for Henry's train, which made Thomas very cross. How can I run my line properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that Sir Topham Hatt depends on me. Thomas whistled impatiently. He wanted to leave, but he had to wait for Henry's passengers. At last, Henry came. Where have you been, lazy bones? Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too slow. You need exercise. The conductor blew his whistle and Thomas started so quickly that he left him behind. The conductor waved his red flag to stop Thomas, but Thomas was well on his way steaming out of the station. Come along, come along, puffed Thomas, but Clarabelle didn't want to come. I've lost my nice conductor, I've lost my nice conductor, she sobbed. Annie tried to tell Thomas what had happened. We haven't a conductor, we haven't a conductor, but he was hurrying and wouldn't listen. Annie and Clarabelle tried to put on their brakes, but they couldn't without the conductor. Where is our conductor? Where is our conductor? They cried, but Thomas didn't stop till they came to a signal. Bother that signal, said Thomas. What's the matter? I don't know, said his driver. The conductor will tell us in a minute. They waited and waited, but the conductor didn't come. Beep, beep, beep. Where's the conductor, whistled Thomas. We've left him behind, sobbed Annie and Clarabelle together. Everyone looked. And there he was, running as fast as he could along the line, with his flags in one hand and his whistle in the other. He was very hot, so he had a drink, and told them that Thomas had left them behind. I'm very sorry, said Thomas. We all make mistakes, replied the conductor. Look, the signal is down. We can go. Let's make up for lost time. Annie and Clarabelle were so pleased to have their conductor again that they sang, as fast as you like, as fast as you like, to Thomas all the way. They reached the end of the line quicker than ever before.